Hello, today I'll be making a quick overview of Racket. So this will be the introduction to a new series where I'll be learning, teaching you guys about functional programming in Racket. So you probably have never heard of Racket, but it's a dialect of scheme, and essentially it's a functional programming language, so it's like nothing you guys have ever seen before. So the ID I'm using for this is actually called Dr. Racket. You guys can download Dr. Racket. It's mostly used in academia, but surprisingly, Dr. Racket is surprisingly powerful. So there's a lot of different functions you can do in Racket get it, functional programming. But the most important thing about Racket is that everything returns a value. And that's the whole idea behind functional programming. Everything is um, everything returns a value, every single statement returns a value, and everything is a function. So let's just begin by basically coming up with some math. So the way expressions are evaluated in, um, in Racket is they're actually evaluated in prefix notation. So that means if I want to add 1, I need to do plus 1 and 1. And that might be a bit weird. Some of you might be used to this. Some of you might not. But you can do stuff like this. Now you can also do multiple at once like that. You can uh, divide numbers one by each other. And also, Java um, Racket has a really cool feature where you can have infinitely large, arbitrarily large numbers that are not bounded, both by precision and not. So you can have exact values. Now, if you do something like square root of 2, it will have a hashtag i, and then it will say the number over here. Now, you can definitely have nested operators, so you can have square root of 2 plus 2. You can also have, for example, pi, e, and you have different constants. So when you're coding in a racket, you have the above here, which is called the definitions pane, where you can do all your functions, and here you have your interactions pane. Some IDs have that, some IDs don't. I know uh, Dr. Java has it, so, oh, just noticed right now, Dr. Racket and Dr. Java. Uh, Dr. Java also has an interactions pane, so if you ever used that before, then you'll be familiar with the way it works. So in order to define a constant in Racket, which will be my very first thing I will teach you guys, is you actually use define, then the name, and then a value. And this will define a constant. So afterwards, click run. It runs, and it's really weird and slow. But now, if you do name, it returns five. So this is a constant, and it has like a global scope, so you can access it everywhere. So this is that, and there's a lot of different features you'll see in this in this uh, programming language. This was my basic intro. Be sure to watch the next video for more details on how to make functions, how to declare functions, how to use them, and a little bit more on prefix notation. So thanks for watching.